Most Dangerous Natural Phenomena. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa. For as beautiful as Mother Nature is, she's very dangerous. Tsunamis, avalanches, you never know what she's going to throw at you next. Today's video might get a little heavy, so let's try to have some fun. What is your favorite time of year? Fall, spring, summer, winter? Let me know in the comments down below. Avalanches. An avalanche is an unexpected, quick downhill movement of snow, ice, rocks, and anything else in the path of the rapidly quickening and growing mass. Several factors can cause avalanches, such as heavy snowfall accumulating on top of a mountain and eventually giving way to begin the plummet down. Rapid changes in temperature, strong winds, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions, and disturbance of hazardous areas by skiers or snowboarders. There are several types of avalanches, including powder avalanches, slab, said to be the most dangerous, and wet avalanches. The areas most prone to avalanches are the Himalayas, the Alps, the Andes, and the Rockies. To put an end to a popular belief around avalanches, loud noises do not trigger them, and they can happen any time of year, not just the winter season. Landslides. This insane geological activity sees rocks and soil sloping down the land, building up speed as it gathers up more debris. Natural triggers are heavy rains, small earthquakes, or volcanic eruptions, but human activities can also be blamed, including mining, quarrying, and construction. In the US, landslides cause about $3.5 billion in damage each year. Landslides also occur in our solar system, with landslides being detected in Mars and Venus. Wildfires. A pretty self-explanatory, dangerous natural phenomenon, although often their causes could have been prevented. The natural way that wildfires begin is when temperatures are soaring and the heat is combined with dry soil and vegetation. Lightning strikes can also be a natural starter of wildfires as well as lava flows. Wildfires are, however, more often started by human error, such as cigarettes, glass bottles, unattended fires, arson, or power lines. Combine that with a windy day and firefighters have their hands full. The most catastrophic wildfires are forest fires, but brush fires and grass fires can also cause irreparable damage. Volcanoes A volcano, in a nutshell, is an opening to the inner part of Earth, and when they erupt, outspews hot lava, ashes, and poisonous gases. Volcanoes erupt when the magma rises to the surface. The magma is formed when the Earth's mantle melts, and if it's thick and can't escape, the pressure builds up, causing an explosion. The magma gets pushed through volcanic vents, and it will destroy everything in its path, including aircrafts flying over it. Scientists predict that at any given time, there are 20 volcanoes erupting somewhere in the world. Right now, the tallest volcano that we know of is Olympus Mons on Mars. Lightning. It's amazing that lightning strikes are not featured in the news more often, because lightning is said to kill 24,000 people every year. Lightning bolts are seriously hot, like five times hotter than the sun kind of hot. And don't assume that because you're not in a wide open area, when the lightning strikes that you'll be safe. Appliances and gadgets in your home are able to transmit electrical charges and can be deadly during a thunderstorm. Lightning has caused both wildland fires and structural fires. The places that see the most amount of lightning are the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo and Lake Maracaibo in northwestern Venezuela, the odds of being struck by lightning are 1 in 3,000. Tornadoes this dangerous natural phenomenon is a vortex of violently rotating winds that appear like a funnel. They rush past at speeds of 3,000 miles an hour and have the power to destroy entire cities. Tornadoes are found globally, but Tornado Alley is the most prone to them in the world. This includes North Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. Tornadoes occur when a cold front meets a warm front, which then forms a thunderstorm and, strangely, usually happens between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. Tsunamis. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or any form of ocean disturbance is said to be the cause of tsunamis or tidal waves. A rarer occurrence is when a meteor hits the ocean and causes these massive waves. 80% of tsunamis happen in the Pacific Ocean's ring of fire. The waves can reach speeds of 500 miles an hour. The waves are faster when they're deeper in the ocean, but rise in height the closer they get to the coastline. Tsunamis don't lose their energy and can travel across oceans with minimal energy loss. If you're ever caught in one, it's advised to resist swimming, but to grab onto anything that floats and just try and let the current carry you. 
droughts. They are slow in action, but are exceptionally dangerous. Droughts can cripple entire countries. A drought occurs when there is an extended period of little or no rain, but strangely there isn't an exact definition that everyone agrees on. Suffice to say, nobody can survive without water, which is ultimately what a drought is. There are four kinds of drought situations. Meteorological, a lack of precipitation. Agricultural, no moisture in the soil for plants to grow. Hydrological, no water in reservoirs or lakes, and socioeconomic droughts, where people have no access to drinking water. Hurricanes. These are large, spiraling, tropical storms that usually occur over tropical seas. They have a few names, which you'll recognize, like typhoons or cyclones, and 40% of hurricanes happen in Florida. Don't confuse hurricanes with tropical storms, however. Tropical storms have winds reaching speeds of between 36 to 47 miles an hour, whereas hurricanes reach a minimum speed of 74 miles an hour, sometimes reaching speeds of 200. Hurricanes began receiving names in 1953, and they were always female. That practice ended in 1978. In every hurricane is an eye wall, which is the most dangerous part of the storm. Blizzards. Snow can be very deceptive. It comes across as all gentle and relaxing, but it can go in the opposite direction and almost kill you. Blizzards are snowstorms with winds reaching speeds of 38 miles an hour, lasting for a minimum of three hours and reducing visibility drastically. Hypothermia or frostbite are two factors that you have to be concerned about, but slippery roads and power failures can also cause you serious problems. The first time a blizzard was declared a federal emergency was in 1970. This occurred in Ohio and upstate New York. The other problem that blizzards bring is when all that snow begins to melt, what do you get? Flooding. Flooding. This dangerous natural phenomenon can occur anywhere in the world. Floods can be caused by so many different factors, such as snow thawing, heavy rains, ruptured dams, and mud flows. It's one of the most common dangerous natural hazards, and they cause in the region of $40 billion in damage worldwide annually. Famine. If you're watching this YouTube video, chances are you're probably not too concerned about where your next meal is coming from. But did you know that one in nine people globally have no idea when they will eat their next meal? Hunger is more dangerous each year than AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis. Sinkholes. It's not often that sinkholes are deadly, but they can wreak havoc on their surroundings. They can consume large portions of cities and cause millions of dollars in damage. There are many ways sinkholes can form, including the karst process, which is caused by the dissolution of carbonate rock, erosion, the collapse of cave roofs, or human activity and interference. Sinkholes can vary in size, anything from 3.3 to 2,000 feet. Florida is prone to sinkholes, and between 2006 and 2010, there were 24,671 insurance claims against sinkhole damage. Heat waves. A heat wave is an extended period of excessive heat, usually combined with humidity. Heat waves occur across the globe and they can be very dangerous. Heat waves are said to kill more Americans than any other natural disaster, with roughly 1,500 perishing because of the heat. Things to look out for in yourself and your family are increased sweating, heat edema, muscle cramps, dizziness, confusion, and nausea. Always stay hydrated, wear loose clothing, and refrain from physical activity. Activity. Cold waves. On the opposite end of the scale are cold waves, which involves the major cooling of temperatures. These drastic temperature changes can be the cause of death in humans and animals. Often, these extreme weather dips cause water pipelines to freeze, or motor vehicles fail when motor oil gels or the antifreeze just doesn't work. This rapid temperature drop happens within 24 hours. Canada was hit hard nearer the end of January 2019 when temperatures plummeted to negative 30 degrees Celsius or negative 22 Fahrenheit. Limnic eruptions. This rare, very dangerous natural phenomenon takes place when dissolved carbon dioxide erupts from a deep water lake unexpectedly. This will suffocate anything within close proximity. This can sometimes cause a tsunami in the lake because the rising CO2 displaces the water. Several reasons could trigger this explosion, including earthquakes, other explosions, or volcanic activity. In order for these explosions to happen, the lake must be saturated with gas, namely CO2, but it could also be methane gas. These explosions have been compared to opening a can of soda. You know when you pull the tab, there's the same release of built-up pressure. 
Hailstorms. We've all heard that familiar tapping against our window during a thunderstorm, and then we know it's hailing and it's pretty exciting, but it can also be really dangerous. Each year, around 5,000 hailstorms are reported by Americans, compared to 1,000 tornadoes. Hailstorms begin their journey as a small droplet of supercooled water, and instead of changing into a raindrop and falling to the ground, it freezes and comes down as small or very large balls of ice. While hail may not put your life at risk, the damage can be costly space disasters. Asteroids can cause significant damage, and yet we don't really think about it throughout our day-to-day -day existence. Asteroids are responsible for a few major extinction events, including the one that saw the end of the dinosaurs. Some scientists believe that we have as much of a chance of being killed by an asteroid as we do being involved in an airplane crash. Scary thought. So before we get to number one, did you take some time and write down your favorite time of year? If you remembered that my favorite holiday is Halloween, then it's probably no surprise that my favorite time of year is fall. One, solar flare. This rare phenomenon occurs when the sun releases a large amount of solar radiation, and although it doesn't cause direct injury, it can ruin electrical equipment. This has happened a few times, once in 1859 during the Carrington event, and then again in 1989 during a geomagnetic storm where all of Quebec was blacked out. Wow.